They're shy, hard to find, and the last of their kind anywhere in the world. To try to save the Italian red deer subspecies from extinction, the government, Worldwide Fund for Nature Italy and other partners have launched Operazione Cervo Italico. 20 of the roughly 300 individuals still left were captured, loaded into trucks, driven more than 600 miles south and released. Their new home, the Parco Regionale de Resere in Italy's Calabria region. Alfonso Grillo, who runs the park, took us on a tour. Even though the deer aren't native to these parts, he says they're not expected to have a negative impact. Unlike wild boar, another animal which has caused problems in this area, deer are shy and they also do not reproduce as fast as wild boar. We only get one fawn per year for each pair of deer, which means that by settling 20 individuals in this area, we will obviously only double these 20 in 10 years, in 15 years. And that natural process is already underway. Somewhere in the thick forest behind me, the deer are adjusting to their new home. And we've also had some really exciting news. They've just found the first fawn to be born here in this park. Moving the deer to the other end of Italy is all about giving them a better chance of survival. As forests were cut down over the centuries to clear space for farmland, their habitats got smaller and smaller. There was one wood that remained untouched in northern Italy, uh, not far from you know, the Pianura Padana, uh, you know, the, this big place which is now full of agricultural fields. And in this, in this wood, we still find uh, the original autochthonous uh, Italian deer. With the population confined to one area, a bad outbreak of disease or wildfires could have wiped out the subspecies completely. Now there's a new group hiding somewhere in this forest and more on their way, their kind inching back from the brink of extinction.